Valerie behind a bunch of bananas. <laughs> Today we're gonna be taste testing the Saba bananas. Come on, Valerie. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so this is a bunch of Saba bananas. Um, sometimes we get bigger bunches than this, but the one we had that was bigger. Yeah. The one we had where that would recently I be? fell. Where would you be? The one we had uh, that fell during Irma was larger than this one. But thankfully, this one fell during Irma and it got caught by some of the other plants because we hadn't thinned the bananas. <laughs> oh and so it was like halfway down. <laughs> it got cut. Easy to get. Mm. So this is the male bud. Um, so bananas, when the flower comes out, they'll have female flowers. And then those female flowers will turn into fruit if everything's just right and it's not too dry um, or it wasn't too cold. Um, then a lot of times you'll have hermaphrodite flowers and those look like they have undeveloped bananas on them. So a lot of people will say, why didn't my bananas all develop? Um, but a lot of times those are the hermaphrodite flowers and they never would develop into bananas. So you didn't do anything wrong. And then finally it'll start having male flowers. So these are some older male flowers. And um, one reason to leave on the terminal male bud is some people like to eat them, and so you can wait till it's at the bottom and people will eat these, especially on the sabas. Um, the other thing is it helps to ID the bananas, so the terminal male bud shape can help you determine what kind of banana you have if you're unsure of what kind you're growing, because a lot of bananas are mislabeled. Um, if you cut off the male flower, also, it can end up getting rot that goes up into the bunch, so you want to be careful if you do remove the terminal male bud that um, you don't cut it too close to the fruit. And then our tortoises love to eat these, so if people don't want the flowers, then we end up feeding them to our tortoises. Why do you know if you don't have a turtle? I don't know what you would do, compost it, I guess, or try to eat it. I think it's kind of bitter, but I don't know how to prepare it really well. Yeah. So anyway, these are the saba fruits. Um, saba is a cooking banana, but it can be eaten when the fruit is really ripe, like these are. Yeah, these are a little mushy, but... A little bit. Um, saba is great dried, so if you cut these or even leave them whole and put them in a dehydrator, they make really excellent dried bananas. And these are like a flat banana? Yeah, so the fruit is kind of squarish in shape. I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, I am. It's super sweet. To me, it's like candy. You're not a big fan? Because the mushiness? Yeah. Okay. So you're a texture banana person. Yeah. This is really weird, but it almost has a tiny bit of like a raw sapote or a canistel flavor in it. It's got I a little bit. I was wondering what that taste was. It's like a little caramel flavor almost. Mm. Like banana caramel. It's like caramel, but like they took something like out of it, so it's more like flat than sticky. Right. It's more like liquid than sticky. Right. What would you rate it? From one to Texture ten. wise, I would prefer a firmer banana. However, the flavor of this is really good, so I would give this one a 9. I might give it a 5. Huh? A 5 just because the texture was too much to get over. Yeah. You could try a different one that's flavor more Flavor and taste. Oh, you weren't a big fan of the flavor either? Yeah. Well, I really like this one, so more for me, right? Yep. <laughs> you get it open. But you can cook with these. Um, you can eat them fresh. You can dehydrate them. They're really good for freezing and making like non-dairy ice cream out of. We'll freeze these and mix with sapodilla or sometimes just mix and add chocolate chips in. Um, they're really good. So this is a good versatile banana. The size is the one reason that a lot of people might not want to grow this one. It is a very tall banana. Um, removing the ones that fell after Hurricane Irma came through uh, was quite challenging because the pseudostems were really how heavy. Many, how many did we lose from? I think we lost like five of these. And they I were I mean, like, all bananas, do you know? A lot. <laughs> None of my Valor ones, though, fell down. Oh, they the didn't. They time. did really well. So, anyway, this was a Saba banana. Um, not Valerie's favorite, but I really but liked her it. her favorite. <laughs> One of my favorites, for sure. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.